I remember now. Everything that happened back in September. And after. I thought it was the ball game. You were there. I remember you. And the, and the weird cat with the glowing eyes. And demons. All right, there were horrible, creepy demons trying to take Endora down into the basement. It must be your imagination. No, no, it wasn't. No, they had her, and, and I tried to stop them. But they had Endora. I, I couldn't get her back, and you both were there. You were shooting lightning bolts right out of your hands. S static electricity? No, no, don't give me that. It was some kind of magic. Uh, evil, all right? Witchcraft. Both of you, you and Tabitha. I think this boy needs to be sent to a padded cell. No, no, I'm perfectly sane. Okay. The woman I love, but... You're a witch. So many articles to while away the fun-filled single hours. Cooking for one and loving it. Costumes for your cats that will chase those holiday blues away. And... Oh. Learning to speak a new language when you talk to yourself. Hmm. Well, I already talked to myself, so maybe I'm ahead of the game. Hey, why aren't you dressed? It's New Year's Eve. Don't you have a date? No, I've decided to embrace the bitter, lonely, single lifestyle. You know, every time I go out with a guy, they get murdered, and I just can't bear another dead boyfriend. So. Oh, poor you. Well, if you change your mind, I'll be at the Blue Note with Louise. What? You got back together with Louise? Whatever happened to, I'll never see him again and my life is over. Oh, we reconciled on Christmas Eve. I love him, Esme. I never want to lose him. Oh, well, good for you. Just be smart about it this time. Never trust him. Esme? Oh, honey, come on. I mean, you caught him making whoopee with your aunt and your sister. I mean, not at the same time, but, um, you know, still, a man will sleep with anyone. Wait, I wonder why he hasn't asked me to... Do, do you think I'm losing my touch? What? Luis explained why he made love to Pretty. Grandfather forced him. <clears throat> Don't give me that look. It's true. And, and as for Aunt Sheridan, I think it all had to do with Marty. Oh, yeah, I heard the little nipper was alive. <laughs> Good for him. Of course, I don't really understand what that has to do with Louise taking off his pants. Yes, I have questions, too. But you know what bothers me the most? Louise never told me about Marty. For months, Louise and Sheridan were searching for Marty secretly. If Louise really loves me, I can't understand why he didn't trust me enough to tell me his son was alive. Wow. I haven't seen that in a while. Mm. So, sweetheart, did you like it? Yeah. yeah. Sad stuff about New Year's Eve, true. Is it really a night of new beginnings? Yeah, yeah, sure. You see, every year people make New Year's resolutions to uh, to set goals for the year ahead. Mm-hmm. So, what do you think? Do you have any New Year's resolutions? Yep, for us to be together forever. Resolution as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Lisa, try not to feel sorry for yourself, please. You want me to give even up, Mama? It's not what I want. It's what needs to happen in order for this family to be protected. But don't forget, Ethan does love you. No. No, he thinks I'm a liar. He thinks I don't care about him. He thinks I don't care about Jonathan. One's one. I mean, she's... She'll be able to get him back. Look, Teresa. Maybe you can't spend the rest of your life with Ethan, but that doesn't mean you can't spend New Year's Eve with him. So why don't you go? Go ring in the New Year with Ethan. What about little Ethan? Uh, it, he'll be fine. I'll take care of him. Just... Let's go, Teresa. Okay. Yeah, I can't give up hope, right? I can call him and... I can beg him to meet me and... 
Yeah, maybe we can work things out after all. Witches don't exist. Oh, poor, poor Miguel. You must be having a terrible nightmare or hallucination or something. Yeah, but I, I just think you're really tired and you've been acting so strange ever since you've been home. You know, all that stuff about not remembering where, where you've been. Guess. Honey, haven't you ever heard of post-traumatic stress syndrome? Yeah, I guess, but what was the stress from in the first place? I'm gonna get you a glass of water. I think you need to lie down. Yeah, that's a good idea. And take a, a good strong pill while you're about it. She must be right. None of this is real. It's happening, isn't it? I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Just like I thought last summer. I can't put him through this. Well, you certainly can't tell him the truth because he'll know we're witches. Tabitha, he thinks he's going crazy. So? I've sent dozens of people off to the loony bin rather than risk exposure. If he finds out about our coven, then we are done for all of us. We just read our little boy to sleep. And could there be a better way to start the new year? I almost choked up. I know, me too. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. My, my dream has come true. Our son is home. It's, it's incredible how natural he is with you already. Uh, no, what's incredible is how close you two are. And you've barely spent any time together. I know, I know. You know what? It must be a natural thing. He doesn't want us to be away from him, not even for a single moment. Yeah. I don't know how good that is, though. Why not? We don't want a clingy kid, do we? I mean, it's understandable for right now, but... I don't know. I mean, he must be afraid that he's going to be taken from us. Well, you don't think I worry about the same thing? I mean, we still don't know why my father let him come back. It could just be another way to torture us. Well, don't worry. I am not going to let him be taken from us again. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You know, there's plenty of champagne in the refrigerator. We could toast in the new year. It sounds nice. Oh, well, great. No, I can't, though. I, I, uh, <clears throat> I made plans with Fancy. We're going out for New Year's. Yeah. I see. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, of course. I just thought you'd want to be here for Marty. <laughs> well, Sheridan, Marty is sound asleep, okay? I will be here first thing in the morning when he wakes up. Right, great. Oh, and say, uh, I'd really like to bring Fancy by so they can get to know each other, considering she's going to be such a big part of his life. Great. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Damn you, Fancy. Damn you for taking Luis away from my son. Mention me. I'm worried, Esme. Luis told me I'm the woman he wants to spend his life with, yet he didn't trust me enough to tell me Marty was alive. You know how much I hate secrets. Well, you can always join me in the single life. We can eat as much garlic and stinky cheese as we want. <laughs> uh, all men lie, you know that. But Luis loves me, and I have to believe love will win out overall. Oh, I hope so. It's good to think that someone will find love. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to come out with us tonight? No. 
My sexual magnetism is a heavy load. As soon as I step foot in a club, the men will flock to me like bears to honey. And then whoever I choose will end up dead. It's really a lousy way for him to start the new year. You know, I think I was right before when I said that I should start dating people who are evil. You know, because then, if one of them ended up dead, I would be doing a public service. Right? <laughs> Too bad you couldn't go out with Aunt Sheridan. I'd love to get rid of her. Oh, uh, yeah, no, no, no. I've sworn off women. That summer in Greece just did it for me. Too much motorcycle maintenance and not enough action. Sorry, you're going to have to take care of your Aunt Sheridan on your own. I don't know what's wrong with me. There isn't any madness in my family that I can think of. Teresa, maybe. No, no, you're fine. There's nothing wrong with you. Yeah, well, that's debatable. I just think you're, you're tired. You need to go upstairs and you need to lie down. I am tired. No, no, it, it wasn't hallucinations. And it wasn't post-traumatic stress either. All right, it was real. I'm right. You two are witches. Foul fiends of hell. You weren't going to show up that you, uh, you didn't want to see me. Yeah, well, to be completely honest with you, I was parking the car and I almost drove off. Ethan. You've been so absent from my life lately. And every time I ask you why, you lie to me, so... I don't think that's the way you're supposed to act towards the man that you supposedly love. I'm sorry. I mean, I, I wish I could convince you how sorry I am. That would take some doing. It's, um, it's New Year's Eve, you know? I just can't stand the idea of not bringing a New Year with a man that I love. I know, I'm just not in the mood to party. Well, can we, um, can we just forget about the past? Can we concentrate on the future? Will you spend New Year's with me? Can we just... Focus on the here and now. Can you please just stay with me? Okay, last chance. You sure you don't want to come? No, sweetie. I don't want to watch the Rose Parade with a dead man in my bed. No, I'll just stay here where it's safe and start planning my new life as a lonely, sour, bitter old maid. Don't worry about me. Have fun. Okay. Happy New Year. Yeah. What do you want? That's a terrible way to greet your grandfather. After what you've done to me? To Luis? You're lucky I'll speak to you. <laughs> it was all Luis's fault. No, don't blame Luis. Think of what you've done since you came back from the dead, starting with killing your own son, Chad. Why Sam Bennett hasn't arrested you, I... Oh, you know, that, uh, I never stay in one place, so that flat foot is never going to catch up to me. It's all about controlling me, isn't it? Oh, how can you say that? We've always been so close. Well, no, I wouldn't say close. Zip it. it. Yes. Yes, we were close. As long as I did exactly what you said. You will do anything to keep me away from Luis. You almost killed him when he was down in that basement. You forced him to make love to Pretty. Well, he didn't have to convince him very uh, hard. And I also found out that he had a little uh, high time with your Aunt Sheridan just recently down at the cottage. That's all over. Is it now? Is it? You know, uh, personally, I can't understand why any man would find your ever eager, wanting Aunt Sheridan to be attractive. Oh, but then again, that's right. She is Luis's... Well, no, she's the mother of Luis's son. That's it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> A son you kidnapped. Minor detail. 
You're just jealous. You're just jealous because you've never understood what love means. Luis will be faithful to me, and when you're in prison, we'll be married, and we'll live happily ever after. If I go out with someone evil, he'll end up dead. And who could be more evil than Alistair Crane? But it would mean the world to me if you stay. I know you don't probably think that this is true, but I love you. You can spend the evening with me. You know, we can, we can have some champagne. We can tell a silly joke or two like he used to. Too much to ask for. You're so upset with me. And you know what? If I were you, Ethan, actually, I would be upset with you too. So I'm just going to say this so that you know. Uh, when the clock strikes 12, I'm going to be thinking of you. And I'm going to be wishing that we were together. So, and, um, well, you probably think that they're just words, but I really can't think of another way to say this. So I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Um, I love you. And I always will. Happy New Year. Sorry to disappoint you, my dear. Father? I just stopped by to tell you that Luis would not be uh, rushing home to your open arms this evening. He's going to be with his new love, Fancy. And here you are, all alone on New Year's Eve. Get used to it. You I don't know how much you paid for that dress, but it was worth it. Wait. Mm -hmm. You're crying. No. Sit down, will you? These are for me. Yes. Nice. But I'm not in a romantic mood, Louise, for good reason. I have to get this off my chest. You hurt me badly. Okay. I don't blame you for being angry with no, me. No, it's more than anger. All right, well, give me a chance. What's what going you... on since the summer has just about killed me. Well, that's why you're here, isn't it? So I can explain? Okay. Starting with Marty. I am sorry that I didn't tell you we were searching for Marty. How long have you known Marty was alive? Months. I wanted to tell you I really did, but we just couldn't risk it. Listen, we knew Alistair had Marty. We were afraid if he found out that we were looking for him, that he would move him and that we would never see him again. And because I used to be my grandfather's favorite, you assumed you couldn't trust me? No. Yes, that's it exactly, isn't it? Fancy. No, fancy. good night, No, please. Fancy, please, please, please. Just let me explain, will you? Come on. Okay. I'm waiting. Though I don't know how you can talk your way out of this one. To think I'd reveal your secrets to grandfather? Mm -hmm. How stupid do you think it I am? It wasn't me, it was Sheridan. Oh, now that I'll buy. Fancy, she was terrified that anyone would find out about Marty. And she made me swear not to tell anyone. I'll bet she did. Nancy, a vow is a vow. Besides, you know what your grandfather is like. He's got spies and cameras and microphones everywhere. He finds out about everything. That's why we couldn't tell you. For Sheridan's sake. No. For Marty's sake. My son, 
Vince, I wanted to tell you, I just couldn't risk not ever seeing my son again. Please? Yeah, I just want to move past this. And... It's up to you, though. Can you forgive me? Must be together. Yeah, look at us now. I guess we should come true. Yes, they do. You know, I've really missed you the last couple of weeks. I never went away. You know, in my heart, I'm always with you. Actually, there wasn't one moment when I wasn't thinking of you. You are the love of my life, and you always will be. Forgive me, can we move on? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, that's fantastic. Uh, because I can't tell you how lame life would be without you in it. I don't want to lose you in your voice. I love you. I love this. I don't want this night to end. It doesn't have to. It could be like this for the rest of our lives if we want. No, I want that more than anything. I did not want to lose you again. I never want to lose you. It took us too long to get here, you know? Well, you're not going to lose me. I promise. Look, tell me the truth. Where have I been? I demand to know. Look at me, dear. Tell me the truth. I deserve to know. I'm missing four months out of my life, and you know something about it. Okay. Okay, you're right. Now oh, she's done it. It's real. The, the demons that used to live in the basement, they took you and Adora to the dark side. Dark side? Well, hell, if you prefer. But Tabitha and I, we looked everywhere for you, and we couldn't find you. Oh, my God. But yes, Tabitha's a witch, and and I'm a witch. And magic spells the whole, the whole thing. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. You know something? No, you tell me something. I... Hate you. So what else is new? No, no, no. This is real hatred. Controlled and mature. Not the angry lashing out of a child. It's it's overwhelming. It's like a fire burning in my belly. I, it almost keeps me warm at night. Excellent. You've finally given me hope that you, one day, will be worthy of carrying my name. Although, I think your hatred is misdirected. Are you mad? Think of the things that you've done to me! As Judge Riley used to say, no good deed goes unpunished. <laughs> Have you forgotten my gift? My Christmas gift? I returned your brat to you. Yeah. yeah, that's what I don't understand. That's what puzzles me, because you never do anything to please me, so there must be some nasty motive attached to it. Why did you suddenly bring my child back to me? This. I missed you. I 
promised you too. Think about it. The future we're gonna have together. Marriage, family, working. <laughs> working? Yeah, working, of course. We're not the type to sit at home, we're lazy. <laughs> we're gonna work, have our careers, have some kids. Sounds perfect. That's exactly what I want. Good. Because that's what's gonna happen. Nothing is gonna come between us ever again. Dead soldier. <laughs> wow. I'm going nice. to find the waiter. I'm going to get some more, okay? Okay, wait, don't be too long because, you know, I've already missed enough time with you. I don't want to lose another mm. moment. Mm. Nice. I'll be right okay. back. Bye. Mama. Oh, gosh. This is great. I mean, it is perfect. I'm glad. Is everything okay? See me, huh? You don't sound all right. Is it Lil Ethan? Um, well, actually, Miha, his fever has gone up again. What? It's probably nothing. I already have a call into the doctor. Nothing? Mama, he, he just had surgery. He's on antibiotics for, for this infection. I, I, I'll be right there. Teresa, no, Miha. I'm sure the doctor will call back soon. Just enjoy your evening, okay? The doctor's not going to call back, Mom. It's New Year's Eve. How high is his temperature? Oh, my God. I'm coming. Where's Teresa going? Why did you give in and send Marty home? The truth? Or your version of it? It's quite simple. I want you to use Marty to tear Luis and Fancy apart. You already know that I care absolutely nothing about you. You don't mean anything to me, but that's not true of Fancy. I just don't want her wasting her time with the same barbarous peasant that ruined your life. I want them destroyed. And the way you can do that by enticing Luis, by using Marty. You're a witch. A real live witch. Yeah, I just said that. I know. I'm just trying to get used to it. Magic. You're in harmony. So all that terrible stuff that happened, your house being sucked into the ground, uh, hell in Charity's closet, the prom boat disaster, floating heads in Tabitha's attic, that was all you. No, no, that wasn't me. All of the bad stuff, I didn't do that. Oh, you just admitted you're a witch. To me, that's pretty bad stuff. Look, I would never hurt anyone. You have to believe me. I don't know what to believe. I don't know who or what you are anymore. Him. I've lost him all over again. This is what comes of telling the truth. And it's only going to get worse. Uh -oh. There you are. Well, well, well. Miss Vanderhusen. Oh, call me Esme. And I'll call you Al. No. Oh. What are you still doing in my library? Well, isn't it obvious? I'm waiting for you. Grrr. What have I done? It's New Year's Eve. We should be together. Oh, no. Uh, it's almost midnight. You know what they say? When the clock strikes 12, whoever you're with, that's who you're supposed to be with all year. Oh, goody, goody. Another year with you. Ugh. Thank you, honey, but no, magic is what split us apart to begin with. Okay, I told you not to tell him the truth. Well, what choice did I have? He started remembering things. He thought he was losing his mind. So? A few months in the nut house would do him good. And now you...
you, you've lost him again. And who knows what disaster is coming down the pike or... If Miguel tells anyone else that we are witches, that's it. They'll be burning us alive on the village green. And I, for one, don't care to go through that again. I don't care about that right now, okay? All I care about is Miguel. And it's, it's almost midnight. And here I am all alone. Father wants me to use Marty to tear up Luis and Fancy. And he's right. I will get Luis back. Because who would ever guess that Father and I could work together on anything? Mommy, I heard voices. Is everything okay? Oh, yes. Yes, sweetheart. Everything is more than okay. Yes. It's perfect. <laughs> Thank you for the dance. You're very welcome. Treat me right and I'll give you another spin later. Long time. I love dancing with you. Who's talking about dancing? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Actually, just let me go check my makeup. Hey, you look beautiful. I'll be right back. All right. Well, hurry, though, okay? Because it's almost midnight and I want to be with the woman I love when the clock strikes 12. Don't you worry. I'm superstitious about that, too. I will be hanging on to you for dear life at midnight. Okay. Sheridan? Daddy, Daddy, where are you? Marty, what's wrong? Marty, Marty, just tell me what's wrong. Marty, 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 just talk to me. Marty? How's little Ethan? He's fine. He, I spoke to the doctor. He told me what to do. And, in fact, his fever has already broken. Oh, God, thank you, God. I tried to call you, but I couldn't get through on your cell phone. Uh, yeah, it, I'm sorry. It, it's, it doesn't work in the mountains. Did I say, you know, you should have stayed with Ethan like I told you to. Mom, you should have seen us. I mean, it was amazing. It was like nothing bad ever happened. I mean, he still loves me as much as he always has. I see. Yeah, I mean, if this is going to work out, I mean, all I have to do is just tell him no, the truth. No, that isn't. I can't. Not ever. I don't even know why I encourage you to go see Ethan. What happened? I didn't want to worry you, but uh, I got a call from Mexico tonight. Your Tia Maria's sons. Your cousins. No, what? What happened? Did I say they were killed? What did I tell you? Juanita's carrying out her threats against this entire family. We have to be so careful. We have to do what Rebecca and Gwen want, or they will reveal our location to Juanita, and then she'll come after all of us. <sighs> after all this, I'm alone. I thought I would be holding Miguel in my arms right now. But I've lost him. No, you haven't. I've done some thinking. Oh, well, that's a first. And life isn't worth living without you. I love you. Whoever. And whatever you are. moment. Yes. Happy New Year, sweet pea. <laughs> Marty, Marty, just answer me. What's wrong? Louise, please. Please, come quickly. Sheridan, what's going on? Why is Marty crying? Hello? Hello? Damn it. I gotta get to Marty. See, where are you? I gotta tell her I'm leaving. 
Step one completed, Father. Let's see if it works. Won't you join me in a glass of champagne? Don't mind if I do. Thank you. So, is there anything else I can join you in? Oh, like what? The jacuzzi. <laughs> oh, you are a bad, bad, evil, evil man. I try my best, best, best. <laughs> You're a delightful surprise. Being Fancy's best friend, that means you would be her greatest ally. Well, Fancy's been such a bore lately. Mm. And besides, I'm a house guest, and I thought this was much more pleasant than a thank you note. <laughs> oh, look. It's midnight. You know, and it would just be a crime for a girl to ring in the new year all alone. Oh. I couldn't agree more. Hmm. Yoo-hoo! Murderer! Anytime you're ready would be fine by me. Ugh. Ugh. I couldn't find you. Something's wrong with Marty. Call myself. We have to be vigilant, Teresa. We have to be more careful than ever. We have to do exactly what Gwen and Rebecca ordered. Mama, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you can't tell Ethan that he's little Ethan's father, or this entire family will perish. Right? You promise? I promise. Oh, oh God. It's midnight, Mama. I, I wanted to be with Ethan at midnight. No, it's too late for that, though. No, 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 no. You know what? I, I, I could still, I could still go to the Blue Note. I mean, I bet you he's really worried about me. Oh, this isn't fair. Everything was going so well for us. Lisa, wait. What are you going to tell him? He can't know that little Ethan is up here recovering from being Jonathan's liver donor. No, I, I know. I, I'll, I, I promise you. I, I'll think of something. Okay? I, I don't want you to worry. Okay? Ethan's never going to know that we're up here. What the hell is Teresa doing up here with Kevin? First she runs out on me, and then she drives up here like a banshee. Time to find out what's going on once and for all. 